Hello, welcome back. Before I get to the countertop results, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Skit Designs for redesigning my cover photo. I love how it came out, and if anybody's looking for channel art, you should really, really hit them up. So yeah, you should definitely check out Skit Designs. They have great prices. Uh, they change up anything that you don't like with no hassle. So yeah, if you're interested, just make sure you check down below in the description box. All the information is in there. So thanks again to Skit Designs for my new channel art. Now moving on. I'm going to show you the video and show you uh, what I thought the results of the contact paper on countertops was. Okay? And I'll talk to you after the video. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. easy to remove a B if it leaves sticky stuff sticky residue from the glue and see if it doesn't damage anything so let's get started So there it was guys, that was the results of the counter, um, contact paper on the countertops. Um, I did like how it wasn't too hard to come off, it only took me about 10 minutes to take off. Um, it was a little bit tough but not that tough, it was okay. Uh, it did leave a little bit of residue but it was easy to wipe up and clean up. I just used a little bit of soap and a, a Brillo pad and it came right up. Um, I don't recommend this on wood. as as it left a little bit of residue on that kind of surface. I can only imagine what it would do to wood, so I'm kind of glad I didn't put it on the uh, cabinets. I did like the way it turned out though. It didn't peel back, it didn't lift up, it it stayed put. If it spilled some, if I spilled something on it, I was it was easy to wipe up, it was easy to clean. Really um, a great alternative for people who rent. That is the reason I did it in the first place, everyone, because I needed to be able to pull it off and take it off before moving out. Um, yeah, so I think it has a great price. Easy to do, for the most part, if you have patience. <laughs> and, I mean, easy to take off. 
great alternative for renters. So I definitely recommend it. However, I only use the contact brand and I don't I can't speak for any other brand and I'm not sponsoring um, contact brand that's just the one that I happen to buy and I'm telling you yeah that's the one I like because it turned out great and it was durable and it stuck on I did not put pinholes on it in the little air pockets like most people do because I was afraid that if any water seeped in through those pinholes that it would lift it so no I didn't use the little pinhole method um, every time there was an air bubble I lifted the whole thing back up again and started all over again. That's why it took me so long uh, to do it. And that's why it was kind of frustrating. Just know that it won't damage your countertops. It didn't damage mine at all. Like I said, it just left a little bit of residue and that was it. Thanks for watching. And if this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.